there was a, uh, a presentation on, on by Nick Fox on uh, on early Alzheimer's disease. So there is some a group of patients who develop Alzheimer when they're in their 40s and 50s before before they turn 65. You know, and there is a lot of new evidence there on how what to look for uh, in this younger group of patients who develop Alzheimer's disease. I find that extremely exciting. I mean, important, you know, because sometimes, uh, in, some, in this patient, interestingly, the, the presentation is atypical. They don't show up with memory problems. They show up with, with depression or with visual problems. So they're easily missed. And, and because in that particular population, you know, the role of a beta and tau is more prominent than the role of vascular factors, you know, in that population, you know, they would be more amenable to intervention that targets those pathogenic factors. You know, the vessels get in more when you're older because that's part of the vascular aging and so on. But so that's, I think that's a very important piece, you know. And they will also study ways to kind of monitor uh, um, blood flow in the brain in patients with Alzheimer that may help up, you know, in, in determining a, uh, more accurately the diagnosis, you know, in life and assess what contribution the blood vessels have to the final picture of, um, of the Alzheimer, you know, and also determine how much, you know, how much emphasis we have to give on blood pressure control or, or in the taking statins or other, you know, vascular measures, which may help in the ultimate uh, um, treatment of the patient. So they were very exciting stuff. There is a lot of stuff on APOE that I've seen, uh, both as risk factors and genetic approaches to treat patients with APOE, which is something that is being treated and tested on the, uh, using uh, uh, um, you know in clinical trials, so that's there is a lot of interesting stuff happening. 